ads are here. Pausing for ads. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another stream. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm loading in just now because I forgot to load in earlier. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. Hello, hello. Welcome. Oh, you guts. Welcome in. I'm doing well. How's it going? How are you? Oh, yeah, I need to, uh... Why is this? Uh, it should be zero. Oh, okay. Weird. How was yesterday's stream? Big progress? Uh, well, it, there was progress. Big or not is, you know. Relatively speaking, we'll, you know, we'll see. I do have some uh, fun updates. So I submitted some new emotes. One of them got denied <laughs> for Twitch side, <laughs> unfortunately. But I have this as a new emote <laughs> that I made. This one got denied because it's probably going to fall under harassment. But I did just submit it to BTTV. So if it gets approved on BTTV, it might still be on the channel, but just under when using BTTV. And then I made a, uh, <laughs> a print string emote, which is already a, a live on the channel. Isn't Lego have an extension for YouTube streams? I mean, yeah, but it doesn't, I don't need it. But, like, It's, it was there originally to like move the chat over to the side and it like changes like the speed of the chat. Like when you're this small, it doesn't matter. So for emotes as in public, mm, not sure, but either way, yeah, those are the emotes. So these, so. This one and this one is already live on the Twitch side. I'm I'm gonna add uh, I'm probably gonna add memberships on the YouTube side so it's so YouTube also has them because it's the only way to have emotes. I mean maybe with that plugin, but then it doesn't seem fair if people on Twitch have to pay for emotes and people on YouTube don't. Just from a just fairness point of view, but I don't know. I didn't know we can do uh, emotes. 
So if it does, that's awesome. I'll look into it. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize that one. Yeah, just some simple uh, emotes. Yeah, the, the, the Twitch, one, Twitch ones are already live. YouTube ones are a little more difficult. <laughs> But one thing I did do uh, yesterday after the stream is I wanted to figure out how to. Uh... Hey, Google, welcome in. Uh, I don't have an accession emotes command. I'm not sure what it would do. You just go click the button, the emote button in the chat, and you just see the emotes. I don't know what the emote button would do <laughs> or emote command would do. <laughs> <laughs> I thought just you just click the email button and just see the. <laughs> so yeah, I don't have that. But uh, so last night, uh, I, uh, with the help of somebody, got this. You know too. Oh, that's your Twitch account? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to remember it. Even if you tell me 10 times, it's... So, for reference, when I work at a new place, it takes me somewhere around three weeks of working with someone every day, seeing them, for me to memorize their name. Around three weeks. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. That's, that's constant eight hours a day seeing them and talking with them. Plus lunch or whatnot. I'm terrible with names. Absolutely terrible. So if I don't see it like constantly, I'll probably keep forgetting it just as a heads up. <laughs> so that's, that's a me thing. <laughs> At least you pronounce it, man. Most people say. Guai. Uh, Guaiga or. Yeah. I pronounced it Guga. But then I was looking at it, I was like, I probably mispronounced it. So I guess. Oh, like Gui? Like Git. Well, no. You say, like, it's Gui, like guitar. So the U is silent. So it's, it's Giga, not Guga. So the U is silent. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm proud. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's uh, not an easy one. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll try to remember it. I have no promises. Like Giga. Okay. Got it. But main thing I want to show is uh, outline on a 2D sprite. Yay. It's not perfect. You might notice that it doesn't perfectly go around everywhere. The right, top, left, and bottom most pixels don't get the outline, so that's why the top of the head doesn't have the green. The left like foot, because it sticks out a little further, doesn't have it. The right side of the arm doesn't have it. And right and below the feet, well, you don't see that anyway. Um... But I know the fix for it and it'll happen later. But the main thing is, right, we want to use this kind of effect to show when I can face through enemies. So, yeah, um, I'll just be showing kind of an outline. I can use this and I can combine it with. Uh, you can, I can combine it with other effects to basically make it so, yeah, if I have like this outline on me. That means I can face through enemies, for example. I'll change the color, obviously. So, yeah, I think that's going to be pretty cool. Um, hopefully it'll work. And I can, I mean, I don't know if I want to put it on the enemies or if I want to put it on myself. Um, I think I'm going to put it on myself. It was hard to do. Well, I'm not the one who came up with it. Uh, the solution is quite ingenious. And it's quite simple to do. It's a little bit expensive, but basically, uh, you just offset all the uh, this, the original alpha 
up, left, down, and right a little bit, and then combine it. So effectively, it just makes it a little bit bigger in all directions. And then I just use it as a mask. So, yeah. So it's, pr it's pretty good. Unfortunately, yeah, it's freaking four sources here. Um, so, yeah, not the best in that regard, but, you know, it's fine. Um, and I love the color. Yep. So, yeah, that's relatively simple. So, but we're going to be using basically this to uh, now create that phase effect. Uh, I can change the color, right? So I can make it, you know, pink blue. Right. There you go. That's, that's probably a little better of a color. Um, so when we get it, I'll make, I'll, I'll enable it. And that's, you know, I can go through enemies. And when we can't go through enemies, we'll disable it. Seems uh, relatively uh, straightforward. And... Uh, Let's try it. Let's, let's do that. Let's set up our first ability for today. Uh, also, speaking of abilities, let me... I made... Uh, I updated my stuff. Mm. There it is. So... Yeah, I just changed the, the colors in this. So basically, the green ones were the ones we've already done. And... The blue ones are the ones we can maybe we have left to do. So things I want to do is uh, we're going to do the face shift right now. So this one. Um, this one. Um, and then I want to do temporary invisibility. The cleave, which is a rework, and I want to do crit damage. So right now crit damage is a, a flat rate of 2.0. I want to have that um, vary. And I want to have that display on the stats. Yeah, the move speed uh, power up worked. Uh huh. Yeah, let me show you. Oh, actually, speaking of the move speed, I don't think actually that updates in my stats. So my stat speed is one. Um, does it update? Speed boost. Oh, it does. Perfect. There you go. My movement speed is faster. Easy peasy. This is such a great menu. <laughs> this is such a good menu. <laughs> and increase my damage. And my... Ooh, why is the damage doesn't update here? I need to update this damage. Let's do that first. Welcome in, Siren Cat. How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, let's check how we're updating the, the damage. Ah, so I'm just getting the damage. Yeah, that's not right. So what I need to do is... <laughs> Such a great menu. <laughs> I know, right? <clears throat> Such a wonderful menu. Uh, we need to... Can I just use this combined damage? I think I can. Get uh, combined damage.
Okay, so if I did this, would I just update correctly? Let's see. Uh, damage still 25. If I give myself damage boost, 27.5. There we go. Uh, what else gives me damage boosts? Um, let's get Berserker. And surround it. So I hit. If I did this, 36 point. Ooh, I should. Um, I should round that. So let's just do round. School made, wait, I'm sorry. School made you cut your hair? What kind of, what? What? What, how does school have any rights to tell you how do your hair looks? That sucks. The hell? That, 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 that's a little, uh, it's a little intense for school to have say in how your hair looks, but oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, that, that does not sound great. It's like, that's an it's hair. It's fine. Like you, you can't. That's not like. A, it's not like you can have it be a hazard for anyone else. So. Uh. Anyway, uh, damage fix done. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's make the ability. Yep, we can do the ability now. So let's go to the data table. Abilities. Okay, so we're making uh, what's it called? What I call it? Day shift. Phase shift. Um, how are we going to describe being able to go through enemies? Let's say... Um, be able to move through and enemies for five seconds it's a good way of describing that you for five seconds you're you can go through enemies of five seconds you can't go through enemies Explanation on music for uh, if you want to get it for yourself. That's from the Hardbound uh, OST by Pirate Software. It's good, good music. Good music. Um, swap between being able to move through enemies and not and not move for enemies every five seconds that's way too long being able to move through and not uh
and not just and not comma every five seconds. Yeah, well, when you, uh, yeah, those, uh, helped him, uh, blow up a lot. I mean, that's, that's how I found him. That is definitely how I found him. Mm, it's about between being able to move through enemies and not every five seconds. That's, I think for now that's fine. Uh, uh. Hmm. Right. Let's see. Where is you? Let's make our icon. Our very complicated icon. <laughs> For face ship. Face shift. Face shift. Uh. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I believe. P.S. No, oh, no, we don't want PNG, we want JPEG. Phase shift. Yep. Mm. Open source location. So now we need a new ability. Character dot player dot ability dot phase shift. Oh, come on. I pressed enter. Why did character dot player dot ability dot phase shift. Don't press enter. Add new tag. I'm sorry, Siren Cat. That's okay. Yeah. Vent away. It feels good to get it out. Yeah, well, that, that, that's, that really is unfortunate. They should go through that. I'm sorry to hear that. Yep, that's all we need here. I don't know what I'm thinking about. Um, so when we have this, we need to... Activate it. So let's go to abilities. Uh, nope. Uh, call this face shift. Uh, 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 uh. Here, I'm going to put these on. Um, Repeat uh, abilities. I just put it under abilities. Not repeat, just abilities. So, first move must be his ability. Face ship is an ability. There you go. Okay. Um, so when phase shift happens, right, we need to get a uh, character reference and we need to check uh, uh, Actually, we don't really need to check this tag I just realized we don't need to check these tags Yeah, we don't need to check this tag. Uh, because there are, obviously he has it. So what I'm going to need to do... Oh, and I'm going to need a timer. So I actually don't want to do this here. I just realized. We need a timer for this. So let's go to the event graph. Uh, this is... 
So siphon. Uh, this is temporary invulnerability. Put it like here. Custom event phase shift. <laughs> we don't need to check, he said, before disaster struck. <laughs> true. Very true. <laughs> that is. Yeah, you got a point there. I still won't do it. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how what happens. Because this should only activate when the check has already happened. It shouldn't activate any other way. So I shouldn't need to check again. Um, I mean, you should get this, then uh, get Sprite. Uh, so we need to, uh, set, um, collision. Uh, oh no, I need to, uh, get, uh, capsule component. Set collision profile to channel. Uh, and we're changing it to pawn. We're saying to ignore and sprite. Uh, uh, what's, what's the one I'm doing? Well, I'm just gonna copy that. So this is gonna enable it. The outline. Now, <clears throat> we then we need a delay of five seconds. Um. And then we do this again. But with just different values. So here it's going to be back to block. And this is going to be zero. And then we do a delay again of five seconds. And then it repeats itself. Now, hey, BC, welcome in. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, but now, with this, we need to also have the stop when I die. The balking. Debugging Docker containers distract you. What is a Docker container? I guess asking you what it is isn't distracting you. So I already failed. So crap. Um, okay, we need, we need distraction. Look at this lens. Ooh. Oh, ads, ads are here. <laughs> Pausing for ads. Here, ads for distraction. <laughs> ads for distraction. Perfect. 
Good thing the web companies used to deploy virtual machines in places. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ads are happening as a distraction. Perfect. <laughs> that. Yeah. Almost surprised by the high pitch in hay. Is that is it high pitched? I wouldn't call it. I don't know if it's high pitched. I think it's more just loud. Oh, what am I drinking today? Glad you asked. Today? Mercury. It was just so pretty. It's just like a beautiful, like, silvery color. I'm like, why don't I just drink mer mercury today? Seems good to me. You know, they used to use it uh, in... Um, uh, they used to use it in... Um, it's called thermostats. Back in the day. So, you know, I'll, I'll know my temperature soon enough. <laughs> I think that's how that works. <laughs> Gas. No, liquid. Mer mer mercury liquid. <laughs> Oh no! Well, thankfully you're all right. Okay, ads are over. How was that, Basie? Was that a good uh, distraction? I think those ads distracted you well. Yes, it was definitely planned. It was definitely a um, a planned distraction with ads. <laughs> Didn't show it to you, so no. But it's oh god, okay, darn it. Foiled again. <laughs> Foiled again. Yeah, let me do um base shift. There we go. You see it in their fickle advertising regions. <laughs> Who said you're right? Or oh, all right. I can read. I mean, no one said you're not, so... I don't... Mm. If no one calls you crazy, are you sane? I'll think about that. If there's no one to, t to say you're crazy, are you sane? Hey, Rory. Welcome in. Came out a great time to debate. <laughs> Crazy or not? Um, let's let's try this. Try this ability out. Hey, shift. Oh, there we go. There's my outline. After five seconds, it should go away, and it goes away. And for five seconds, I'll come back. Oh, look. Okay, so that's working. So now let's find out. Can I? Oh yeah, I can totally go through him. And when I can't, yeah, I can go through him now. And as soon as I get the outline, I can go through him. Look at that, it works. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Ooh, just walk through. Doesn't affect like being able to be hit or anything. Like, st you still hit me. Perfect. Oh, that was surprisingly easy. You can't read. I can't read. You can't write. So that's why we work well. <laughs> well, you don't need to write well if I can't read well, right? It's perfect. It's, it's absolutely. Uh, uh, it's absolutely perfect. If you write mistakes, I won't be able to read them. <laughs> okay, so uh, I guess face ship is. 
I think I keep saying face shit. Or I, or I say face shift, but I, I slur the end and I keep saying basically face shit. <laughs> Unintentionally, mind you. I just slur the end of t and just take out the F. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, well. Yay, this is this is good. Okay. So this is now checked. We're good. Um the next one let's do is the temporary invisibility. So this one's going to be a little more interesting. So when I enter the room, I need to um, be invisible for a certain amount of time. That also means I need to disable the, um, the vision range or ability for them to detect me through vision. Uh, for 10 seconds. So this is going to be a little more complicated setup, but I think we, I think we can do it. <laughs> so first things first, um, I need to modify my main sprite material here and I need to, this is the full outline. Well, the outline doesn't, uh, I just need to have a multiply here. Um, I'll set it to be opacity strength, uh, and I'll use custom group data. Index one. Default value one. Sprite, uh, and another one. So yeah, I should still see my guy. There you go. Bam. Bam. Bill. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, Jimberly, welcome in. How's it going today? How are you? How are you? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, that's all we need here. Uh, I could do... I don't know why I have it this way. Just put it back and it's really this way. There you go. Okay. So we need to do a custom event. Well, first let, let's let's add let's add the thing. So um what did I call it? I mean, I call it temporary invisibility. It's basically be becoming um, invisible for a set amount of time when you enter a room. Mm. I'll call it temporary invisibility for now. It, we'll figure out a better name later. <laughs> Temporary 
visibility. Um, become um, invisible for 10 seconds when entering a new room. Uh, now, become invisible um, when entering a new room for 10 seconds or until you hit uh, an enemy. So it's either 10 seconds or if I hit an enemy before that, then it'll break, uh, obviously, before that. I have temporary invulnerability and there's a temporary in in invisibility. <laughs> Very different. F very different. Even though they're both going to be um, TI right now. <laughs> they're both TI. Um, temp. Invisibility. Gregory, welcome in. Well, what's up? What's going on? What surprised you today? Or now? Or is this the first time you've been surprised? <laughs> Character dot player dot ability dot uh, temp uh, invisible. Add. Are those cards? Yeah, these are all our um, new cards. Yeah. I mean, they're temporary. Visually, they're temporary cards. Yeah, but these are all the power ups that we have right now. So, yeah, stun chance, air blades, multi shots, grease spread, armor, berserk, armor, surrounded. Last stand, damage boost, face shift, temporary invisibility. Yeah. These are all the cards that we're making so far. You know, the plan is to have at least a hundred. But for now, you know, best serve somewhere. And so right now we're making uh, temporary invisibility. Hello, DNH. Welcome in. Is it 2.5D? Yep. Yeah, 2.5 is a, is a thing. Yeah, it, that just means. Uh, it can be multiple things. So uh, it could be their 2D uh, sprites in a 3D environment. And lots of games have um, stuff like that. For example, um, uh, Octopath Traveler. Um, you could also just have a 3D environment that just moves in 2D in, in like left to right, like a side scroller. It could be 3D in nature, it can have 3D characters, but that's still 2.5D. Just 2.5D is very broad in that regard. So I'm using 2D sprites in a 3D environment. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, uh, here, I'll, 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 I'll show a quick uh, demo of it. Oh, load it in. Oh. There it is. Okay. Wait, where are all the enemies and why did something get just shot out? Wait, where are all the enemies? Oh no. Oh, it's because, oh, I know why. They're all invisible. Oh, oh dear God, they're all invisible <laughs> because, hold on. <laughs> I know exactly why. Uh, uh, hold on. I meant to not put this here. Uh, <laughs> put it here. Uh, 
custom uh, primitive data. Uh, add element. Add element. Okay. And so you reset. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay, I'm visible and Oh no. Why are they all still invisible? Those jerks. All I did was just change one thing. I know what I changed to. Uh enemy. Why is this zero here? Reset. Please. Do I need to do this on this on the characters too? No, you're fine. Okay. Good now? Can I see my enemies now, please? No, oh, yeah, I can. There were just all of them are on this side. Okay. Ah, he fell over. Sucker. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Yeah. Now I already, here's my temporary invisibility card. You can reduce damage I take. Yeah. Okay. All looks good. We're, ba we're back to working. No, I can't fix an error. You'll do it all over again because you know it's going to be a nightmare. Wait. Oh, when you can't fix an error, you'll do it all over again. Wait, why would you do it all over again instead of just fighting fighting the error because if you do it all over again wouldn't you run into the same problem if you don't find the problem or maybe I'm misunderstanding <laughs> don't take so long yeah but then you'll find the problem and you'll fix it and then it's gonna be good and then you'll learn from it and get better and it's great. You can do it? Yes, you can. You gotta believe in yourself. You made the setup so you know how it works. You have to get good. <laughs> you have to try. You don't have to get good. You just have to try. As long as you keep trying, you'll eventually get it. And over time, you will get good. Yes. But yeah, you just have to like keep, keep stepping forward. Keep moving forward. A little bit at a time. Okay, let's make our ability. So, um, this is gonna be on the mob spawner. Uh, let's go to the mob spawner. Oh boy. So this happens. When I overlap, uh... so after three seconds, it checks is it empty? If it's true, it opens a door. Uh... I need to do it here. If the spawner is enabled, do it here.
Your brain just goes down. I'm not braining. Hey, welcome to the club. <laughs> My brain never brains. I got to just keep trying. That's why it'll, it'll take a bit longer for us. But we'll get there. That's the main thing. You know, got to keep persevering. Uh, I'm going to get a so variable. Uh, player ref. Yeah. So what we need to do is when we enter, we need to uh, get gameplay tags. And we check if I have a tag. So basically, we need to check if I have temporary in, uh, invisibility. Go. If I do, then we do something. You guys do coding on Real Engine? I don't know how to program at all. None. I do everything in blueprints. I can't almost say none. Like, like I can look up on Google, like how do you do print strength syntax and write that. But I just don't do actual like writing coding. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it's just not for me. I've tried many times. A blueprints. Great, I can do that. Same logic, just no semicolons I need to find and write. Don't need to worry about, did I write it correctly? I just, okay, let me plug it in. Cool, I'm done. So it makes it, blueprints are easier and better than coding. Well, they're easier if you're a visual person. It might be not as easy if you're like a coder. It all depends on it's per person. They're in some aspects they're a little bit slower in computing, but not noticeably so. Like you might get a little bit slower performance. But I'm we're talking like 120 versus 125 FPS, I think. Yeah, it's a little slower. Whoop de do. Full games are built with blueprints too. So yeah. It is completely fine. The way I see it. But uh, let's do this, uh, get a sprite. Um, and then we need to set um, primitive uh, data float index one. And we'll set them to be like half opacity. So for testing purposes, if I set you 2.5. Ah, you're a... Hmm. Hold on a second. Ah, this is opacity masked. This is not translucent. So now if I set this to... Uh, that might be a problem, but hopefully not. Usually it's you do masked, but it shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem. We'll see. We'll find out. Okay, so it's going to make him uh, partially translucent. Then we need to basically make it... We need to get all of the enemies and effectively disable their vision. Oh boy. 
Okay. How the hell do we do that? <laughs> uh, how the hell do we do that? <sighs> okay. I go to the event graph. Um... Custom event, uh, lose vision. Can I, uh, get sense? Uh, no, um, what I need to do probably do is here. I just need to just turn this off so I can just make this a branch. Um, so let's make a can see let's do that. If I can see, then we'll handle the site. Uh, if not, then we won't. It's 3 a.m. and get some sleep. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. This should work. And by default, this should be on. Uh, actually, let's, let's turn it off real quick. Uh, so if it's off, they should just not, they shouldn't just not react to me, no matter how I... Ooh, we, oh, I see the problem with translucent. We can't do translucent. Translucent means no shadows. That's right. I, mm. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, so we can't do that. <laughs> I forgot about that little detail. Uh, that's a very important detail. Um, so that means we can't... Uh, what I could do... is tint my character... potentially. Like, make him darker. Like he's in shadow. No, you can't fake shadows. Not... No. <laughs> because that's all ray traced directional based on the lighting, based on the... Sh that's... No, <laughs> you can't fake that. You can, like, fake, like, a blob, like a circle, but you can't fake, like, actual shadows. So what we'll do instead is instead of a passive strength, we'll just do, um... Um... Base color, uh... Strength. And we'll just basically make it darker. So now if I do like 0.5, right, he just gets darker as though he's in shadow. So you know what? Let's change the name. We'll just call the ability shadowed. Two, so here it's our temporary... Um, Invisibility is going to be, uh, um, no, you're cloaked. Shadow cloak. Cloaked in shadow. Cloaked Asahi, in shadow. Pausing for ads. While ads are going, I'll just go ahead and... Export this out. Um, we don't need temporary invisibility. That's gone. 
cloaked in shadow safe. Uh, re input with new file. thing just sounds cooler <laughs> stressing your skills spent 12 hours that's that no that's that's no <laughs> i've spent a long 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 time trying to think of ways to do it and there's ways to do it you can do it with cameras and some other stuff but it's super expensive far more expensive than doing actual lighting I use cameras, decals, and like, no, <laughs> just, okay, ads are done, so, uh, right, we've confirmed that, okay, shadows are back, but we've confirmed that he cannot see me, if I hit him, right, he, he's good, so, what I'm gonna need to do is, um, have this on by default. Um, then when they spawn, I need to check. Um, it's like a new variable. Um, then in shadow. Or, um, enabled. So we'll turn this on. And then when they're spawning, right, we're doing all this. Um, It's going to do all that, then it's going to branch here and check if this is enabled. If it is, then it's going to be set, uh, can see, or uh, what do I call it? Oh, I need to get their AI controller. Get AIC enemy base. Which I already have a reference for it. Set can see to be off. And then um, delay of uh, 10 seconds and set it to be on. Okay. Does the Game Maker Studio also have this wacky woohoo visual scripting? A few games have it nowadays. Unreal was the first one to do it and, it's, and to date, unless I'm uninformed unreal still has the most powerful visual scripting on the market because you could like there you could do the entire game in visual scripting there's nothing you need programming at all for depending on the game you make obviously if you're making a multiplayer you know network game you might want to do some or might need some uh but like unity has some visual scripting but it's like Baby's first visual scripting compared to Unreal.
Uh, a few places have it, as far as I know. But it, it's just a difference in, like, them... You know, it's the same thing of um, MS Paint compared to Photoshop. Yeah. MS Paint has a layer system. MS Paint has drawing tools and colors. Right? But there's a difference. Yeah, you can do stuff with this, and people can, and people have. Even has some functionality here you don't have in Photoshop. But... Right, it's... A little, a, a little different in terms of, like, its ability in the, in the grand scheme of things. Um, so let's just test this for now. We should be able to... Um, load a dungeon. Photoshop's too much money. Yeah, that's why I use uh, Affinity Photo. One-time fee, permanent license. Pretty much same functionality. It doesn't have any of the AI stuff, but oh well. Not a big deal. This is a, this is amazing. One-time fee. Perpetual license. And not even an expensive fee. Yeah, I dropped all Adobe. Yeah, I used to use Premiere. I went to DaVinci Resolve. Far better. Free. Although I paid for the Pro version myself because I started using it a lot. And some of the new, uh, some of the AI tools, I'm like, okay. I want the Pro version for that. But it's, again, a one-time fee. Don't need to play uh, multiple times. Cool. Just have it now. Perpetual license. No more Photoshop. I have Affinity. Pretty much everything. Uh, that you don't need. Don't need, like, Autodesk Maya. That's expensive as hell. Blender is fantastic. It's even better, in my opinion, than I've been using it for a bit. Like, there's... <laughs> Substance... Like, you don't even need Substance Painter um, because you can have... Uh, you can do the, the painting in Blender. There's uh, a plugin for it, actually. It's great. <laughs> you know, it's... Yeah, there's, there's like... There's alternatives these days for like all the big company stuff that's actually really good. That is like either a one-time purchase or real cheap in comparison. Or, just a bit, or free rather. One-time purchase or free. Hello, Green Coke. Welcome in. Was this uh, Blender pl uh, painting plugin? You got a name? Uh, I saw it. there's a tutorial on it. Uh, if you search uh, Blender, um, uh, if yeah, there, there's a. I forget which one it is. I would need to find it. I, I, there, if you search for it on YouTube, I just saw tutorials for it on one of the channels. I wonder if I have it. Hold on, let me see. Uh, may I just quickly check if... Did I add it to my watch later? Probably not. Probably didn't. But maybe. Mm. No, I did. It's out there. I know it exists. I need to find it again. I, I just haven't needed it yet. So I haven't like downloaded it for myself. But I was going to use it. Oh, uh... Oh, here it is. Um, uh, I found the channel uh, that did it. Uh, let me see if I can find the video now. So... Come on. Come on. Uh, 
Okay, so this is the channel, Molt uh, Molten Bolt. Um, so he has a um, the tutorials on Blender painting. And one of these, uh, this one, one of these videos was um, the tutorial. It might be this one. No, this is how to put it into like uh, connected with like Photoshop and stuff. I think it's here. I think it's one of these. He goes over like the plugin. But but it's it's definitely out there. Um, I remember watching his stuff uh, when I was looking into like a substance painter uh, or a painting. But basically, uh, the plugin. Um, this is where you find the video. Um, is uh, it adds the, the full layer functionality. Is it as powerful as Substance? Let's just, to be fair, it is not as powerful as just using Substance Painter. But the point is, it gets you like 90% of the functionality you'd want from Substance Painter, which is the layer functionality for painting in Blender <laughs> for free. And that's the main thing you'd want, right? So. Okay, let's see if, uh, okay, they should not be able to see me. Oh, I didn't give myself the tag. So that's, that was a successful test. That was totally a successful test. <clears throat> so that, okay, now walk inside. And they cannot, why can't they see me? Why could they see me? Do you love the YouTube emoji? It looks so silly. Yeah, they, they do. <laughs> uh, let's grab that again. They didn't... Hold on. It didn't trigger... That means this didn't trigger. Open shadow. Oh, hold on. Uh, here. Yeah. That's why. I forgot to update the tag here after we remained it. Um, so now it should be. His stream motivates you to start one in the first place. Do it. Why not? <laughs> Isn't hard to try? Doesn't turn do it? Well, okay, that's that's not necessarily true. It could. I don't I don't know every situation. You get a lot more motivated to carry on with your project. Now you're going very fast. Nice. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, this, uh, the reason why I started streaming this was to motivate myself, uh, to continue working on this. Hey, Screen Apple. I don't know if I crash lot. Well, it's preview. It is preview. Why? Okay, hold on. Now, why did you guys see me? Oh, did I give? Did I not give myself the the card because I was distracted? No, it's not doing. It. Why is it not doing it? That is not what I meant to drag out. It's not OBS I want to drag out. <laughs> um, let's 
Give me my gameplay tags, please. It should say true, so it should go down this path, but... Andreas, welcome in. Game's getting uh, pretty hyphy. Very cool to see how much progress made in the game so quickly. Thank you, I appreciate it. I don't know about quickly, but it, it's, it's progress is making. You love the monster designs? I can't take credit for that. That's just, that's just, you know, false. Oh, uh, you know what? Let me restart Unreal. Because when we renamed it, it asked me, do I want to restart, uh, relaunch the editor? So just in case, let's relaunch Unreal in case that has something to do with it. It's been very quick. If I was last week when you changed the camera angle. Uh, yeah, it was like a, yeah, it was relatively recent. Yep. And now we're like all these abilities is the past, what, two, three days. Mm hmm. Yeah, I keep moving. Otherwise, you know, we'll be doing it for way too long. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is still hooked up. So now I have it. False. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> He bounced off me and fell in. <laughs> I love that. That's great. Um, why? Why is it false though? Uh, oh, that's why. I forgot to do this, which means I was never getting it. I wouldn't, good guts. I wouldn't. You do not want to be smart by me. Not through that means. You want to do the natural way. Drink water. It's only when you get smart like me that you, you know, you could start experimenting. Really. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. So see, I am darker now and they cannot see me. Even though I'm running around them, they can't see me. And after 10 seconds, they should all be able to see me. Um. Uh. I have a feeling it's been longer than 10 seconds. <clears throat> Very long 10 seconds, yeah. Uh, holy crap. Very long 10 seconds. Okay, well. We know this works. For a one-man show, this is rad. Of course, for uh, companies, teams working hard enough. And if uh, HR, we're going to talk to your management and see if they can get your team better conditions. Yeah, this for me it's a one man, one man show. Right now, I mean, so what I would like to have is not a one man show. Um, so I would like uh, uh can I make a? Can I open a second paint? Let's find out. I can. I can totally open a second paint. Awesome. <laughs> so what I would like is um, potentially uh, an artist, like a um, like a uh, UI like graphics artist. 
uh, for doing things like like all those power up stuff, the UI, like any of those 2D graphics effectively. I'm going to be doing uh, the blueprints, but I'm I'm probably going to need help uh, with uh, some of the actual like 3D art as well, just because there's going to be a lot of it. And well, I can do it all if I can have one person do also 3D art, right? It would just speed things up. Um, uh, also, FX is something I'm not great at, and uh, and uh, music slash sound effects. So one, two three, four potential people. But this I definitely cannot do. So this right here, 100% would need someone else. Right? 100% would need someone else at some point. Not yet. Way too early for this. This is like way too early. Uh, FX, I'm starting to learn myself. Theoretically, could could do this, can do this. Uh, it won't look as nice if I do this. So, so this one is more like a eighty percent chance of getting it. The music is a hundred percent chance of finding someone. FX is like a twenty percent or twenty five percent chance of getting someone. And 3D art is also another 25% chance of getting it somewhere. So the, the definite one is the music. And then when I say getting someone, I don't mean like full time. I mean like potentially contracting someone out later. You're gonna find me all those things. I'm, I'm good for now. For now, I'm good. For now, I am good. So. Why is this delay not happening? Oh, I know why the delay, because the delay here is um, more to variable, uh, enemy uh, AI controller. Uh, it's going to be an array. It is that, then it adds it. And then once it has done all this and once it's complete, then it does this. And then for each loop, uh, oh, let's do the delay first. That should do it. At some point, it would be cool to have me do a video about my favorite game mechanics. I mean, I don't know what my favorite game mechanics are. Like, I don't have very, I have like half a dozen games I've ever rated 10 out of 10 games. Like, pretty much. I don't rate games like 10 of 10 very easily. But it's not the mechanics specifically that make those games 10 of 10. Like Horizon Zero Dawn, Final Fantasy VII, Path of Exile during 
early closed beta like very early on days um what else uh I need to think what else. Those three come to mind. Final Fantasy VII, Horizon uh, Zero Dawn, early PoE. No, those are not 10 out of 10 games. So when I say 10 out of 10 game, for me, means it's a game I will play once, love, re replay again, um oh divinity original sin that's another one the first one not two even though i played two now more i i think the story in one was better and the gameplay was great um divinity original sin um but yeah so for me a 10 of 10 game is a game where i will play it and then i will want to replay it again and again and again if um and it needs to be there where um Baldur's Gate 3 might fall into that I haven't thought about it too much but Baldur's Gate 3 might be there too as a 10 out of 10 where even if the game has bugs I don't care about those bugs because I will play through it and love it no matter what. That to me is the right. The very original sin had bugs starting out. I didn't care about it. I beat the whole game. I loved it. I replayed it multiple times. Final Fantasy VII was my first game I ever played. That was pretty big. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn. I literally bought a PS5 Pro to play. I paid $500 effectively to play Horizon Zero Dawn. I platinumed it. New Game Plus came out, and I planned them again on the hardest difficulty. I planned them to uh, Horizon's um, Forbidden Dawn 2. Or Forbidden West. Forbidden Dawn. Forbidden West. And I, um, like, fully. I didn't do the DLCs for them. Um, so, yeah, that's my cr criteria for a 10 of 10 game. Where I have to love everything about it to the point where I will replay the game. It's the same one for, for anime for me. Right? It's, uh... Like, there's some really good anime that I've watched, but they're not up there because of... I will tend to not rewatch it. A good example for that for me is, uh... Like, one of the all-time favorites for everyone, which is, um... Uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Fantastic anime. I've watched it. I think I've watched it, like, one and a half to two times. But there are some anime that I've rewatched 10 times. Because... Is, is it because Brotherhood's bad? No. It just, for me, it's not as good as the other ones that I will rewatch because that is just more of what I want to watch at the time. So that's kind of the kind of thing. That's what I mean. Also, if you're wondering, my favorite all-time anime by a absolute huge margin is Steins Gate. One absolute massive margin is Steins Gate. <laughs> like, not even cl close second anywhere. <laughs> One of your recent favorites, Heldaris 2? Yeah, it seems good. Like, I, uh, I am a single-player person. As you noticed, all the games I mentioned are single-player games, except PoE, but I played that single-player. I am not much, I'm not a competitive person at all. I would, like, I don't really play, oh, ads. Ads are here, pausing for okay. ads. Meantime, I'll test this. Let's give it 10 seconds and hopefully they'll all be able to see me afterwards. Uh, also, I need to reset my visual. You play Arc single player with your daughter, nice. Oh, yep. 10 seconds are up. Okay. It worked. I just need to reset my...
Punk. You play lots of single player multiplayer games, but most of the multiplayer games you play are co op. Yeah. I don't really have people to play co I never really grew up playing co op games because I didn't even have people to play with. I am a super introvert. <laughs> so I much prefer single player by like an astronomical amount. <laughs> an astronomically more, but I prefer single player. Like, I'll, I am the. <laughs> I'll tell you this after the ads. Because I played MMOs. A lot of them. But, okay. And, okay, ads are done. So, I used to play MMOs. Massive multiplayer online games. I even played, um, I played Arcage. I played, for a little bit, I played WoW. I love MMOs. I love leveling in MMOs. I don't really like the rating in MMOs. Want to guess why I don't like the rating MMOs? Because it's a multiplayer thing. <laughs> See, I, I mean, I know a lot of people have this problem where, especially, um, like, uh, in Arcage, um, and, and Lost Ark, sorry, the other thing I played Arc Age too. Uh, and Lost Ark is the last one I played, and right, it's one of those things where if you know the raid fight and you've practiced it, you'll be fine. But if you don't, well, then you're just not gonna either gonna be taken, or you're just gonna people are gonna bitch at you. So it's like, as an introvert, I'm like. I don't want to be part of that. I don't, I don't want to go somewhere and makes people's life less enjoyable because I'm trying to learn it while they already know. And so we're going to wipe constantly because it's designed where if one person wipes, it's the end of the raid. So like, I enjoy all the like exploration, side quests and everything of MMO, but I don't like the raiding part because... Anxiety. <laughs> so I play using MMO uh, solo. Okay, we should now, uh, after 10 seconds, no longer be invisible here. So I'm invisible and after 10 seconds, I should stop being in shadow. Let's see. There it is. Okay. So now they can actually see me. Great. Uh, but we also want to do that um, when I attack one of them. Um... So what I'm going to do is come here and I'm going to do an event dispatcher. Hit. Um, and basically here, I'm going to do uh, all this. And on the spawner, when we spawn it, uh, for each one, we'll do a second. Uh, bind event on hit. Uh, let's rename this to something. Well, I don't know if it's the right hit. Um, damage. Our AI damage taken. Uh, wait. Oh, oops. Uh, not here. It's this one. Fine event on AI. Two, not on. Okay. So if this happens, what we want to do is um, 
So I'm going to just come here. Uh, I'll detach this and make it a custom event. Uh, uh, reset uh, site. And I do a uh, great event. Resets it. So if I hit someone, I should go back to full display and everyone should be able to see me. <laughs> Can we lost because uh, it was destroying? Oh no. <laughs> well, I mean, that's good. I mean, that has a very great, uh, uh, like end results so you know what if we got you to quit smoking i mean i mean that's that's uh you know what it was worth it <laughs> start playing mmos when you're 13 it's like an addiction yeah mmos are yeah Oh, Little Big Planet. Oh man. I, I played Little Big Planet 1. Again. Solo. <laughs> As always. Everything solo. <laughs> yeah, let's see. So oh. I forgot to give myself the ability. Okay. Ability acquired. Okay. I'm in shadow. If I hit someone, I'm no longer in shadow and they can see me. Hey, look at that. It works. And let's just make sure I can leave and come back and it won't reactivate. I don't know why you're stuck. Uh, okay. Can I leave now? Yes, I can. So if I go in this room, yep, I'm not in shadow. If I come back in this room, yeah, because the the thing isn't. Uh, Uh, because it's not activated spawner. Sweet. And if I go to the next one, it should again. Same thing. Yep. I'm in shadow. Right. See, I'm much darker now. They can't see me. If I hit one of them or I wait 10 seconds. Yep. They can see me now. Now, it depends which way they're looking, right? They can still see me, right? This guy just wasn't looking the right way. Fantastic! Look at that! And it should work uh, with... Um, with face shift. If I give myself... Uh, give myself a damage boost, I'm giving myself a face shift. So a speed boost, because why not? <laughs> What I want to do is just test. I can go through here. Right? I can now go through enemies and they still can't see me. Now I can. What I need to do is probably add a touch sense, these guys. But. Oh, time's up. 10 seconds are up. So it works. It is all working so good. It's not one we can test on this map. Um, I could set it up or I can test it. But nah. Sweet. Okay. That's you. Uh, probably don't need you anymore. Hmm. All this don't need you. 
Okay. Done and dusted. So we now have this, which is now uh, renamed. So let me rename it on my side. Spreadsheet. Uh, cloaked in shadow. Terrible name. I'll admit it. <laughs> Terrible name. You want a revival for LBP so bad? Yeah, I missed that message. LBP. What's LBP? What, what is LBP? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Little Big Planet. I'm, I'm so bad with abbreviations. A Little Big Planet was awesome. It was, it was so much fun. I, I I agree. Did they make a third one? I I remember he, little big uh planet three. Oh they, they yeah they did make a third one. Yeah like at that point like I was just I heard about it but that, that's all I. They reported to um uh, you see probably not. Well, back then there was a downfall of the French. Oh no. Yeah, I think I played the first one for sure, and maybe the second one. And I played with my like when I this was like back in like high school college days. I played with my stepbrother. He's uh five years younger than me. Okay, right, what are we doing next? Oh, let's do cleave. So right now, when I attack, I made it so I can AOE attack, but I don't want to have AOE attack by default. I want to have a, um, I only wanted to, um, AOE hit when I have this power up because it's a little bit overpowered. <laughs> by a little bit, I mean a lot, um, to just be able to hit everyone. So let's do um, the ability. Leaf. Hit uh, multiple enemies. Uh, in range. I just hit all enemies in attack range. Yep. Um, add a new thing. Leave. Am passive. Uh, da, 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 and we need. We have another C. It's fine. Uh, oh, I don't have any. Uh, I, oh, I renamed uh, critical. Uh, critical to critical strike, and so it's now CS. This is just cleave. Bring that in. Pop you in. Yeah, there we go. Sumo Digital made it instead of Media Molecule, who went on to make Dreams, which is pretty good. Ah, oh, different public, uh, different uh, developer. So, is it? Did they sell the rights, or was the right, or it's like their publisher owned the rights, and so they just gave it to another studio? I don't understand. Like, I don't know why, like when you have a franchise made by a certain studio, why you would have another studio also make it. Unless for some reason that they want to continue the franchise, but that studio messed up that badly. But usually, like 
if like I was to make a game, let's say, right? And I made the second game. Well, then I have experience with making that game or that style of game. So why would you give it to somebody else that has never touched it before? That has never made sense to me. And people like in the industry do that all the time. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah, so that's what I mean. So the publisher, which is Sony in this case, owned the rights and they said no. Okay. Well, if they said no, then okay, then then that makes sense. Okay, that's every they have every right to say they don't want to make a third game. I mean, take take Valve, for example. The number, they can't count to three. <laughs> They're doing just fine, not counting to three. Really, you just need one or two. I mean, I think really Valve is is not even counting to two. Valve just speaks binary. And they know the index starts at zero. So really, um, you know, it's not wasn't Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2. It was Half-Life 0 and Half-Life 1. Because they just, you know, they just moved the numbers over for, uh, you know, the layman. Uh, but really, they just they just make their games in binary. Well, binary doesn't go above one, so they well, that's it. They're at end of the list. They can't go higher. Damn. <laughs> it was super bucky and broken. And he fixed for two years. The story kind of sucked. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I couldn't tell you what the story was in uh, Little Big Planet. I didn't play it for the story. I just love the puzzles. <laughs> they were just great. I didn't even build anything out of it. it just I just like going through, this, through the through the puzzles. As long as there were fun, like little puzzles and stuff, like I enjoyed it. Uh, where's my attack? Here's my attack. Uh... Oh, no, it's execute attack. I need to go. Disable trail. Uh, is it on action character? Uh, it's going to take damage. There's attack combo. Oh, execute attack here. This is where we need to do it. Story in the first was all right. It's still better than three. And story in two was awesome sauce. Yeah. That's that is awesome. Uh okay, so here we need to get gameplay uh tags. Hashtag. So if I have leave. Let's move this over. So if I have cleave, we'll do this cleave setup. Right? If I don't have cleave, don't do this cleave set. So let's trace attack. Uh, I'm just going to take it. I'm going to trace. Um, leave attack and then I'm going to duplicate and just go trace uh, attack or uh, just trace attack so the only difference here is uh, we need to change this out for a regular uh, castle trace for objects also I just realized I don't need to do for objects I could do for Uh, I have the characters thing. So instead of this, uh, let's do a capsule trace uh, by channel. The channel is going to be character. 
We're going to ignore self, obviously. Um, and that way we automatically just get the character. Uh, okay, we don't need you anymore. Um, okay, so then... Um, Yeah, because when they're defeated, they're no longer uh, tracing on character. So let's uh, change this to a single. Uh, do I even need to change to a single? I could probably just do this. Uh, oh, no, I need to. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll just put it, uh, put it up. So we'll just do this. There we go. So here, if it's false, as in we could, we're doing only the single attack, we're going to do that. So it's going to do the single attack, and then it's going to do the same check. If I hit something, and if I did... Hit actor the target. And uh, the tack type and all that we need to grab uh, from here. So. Do that. Yeah. Uh, it's not a special attack. It's a regular attack. So, yeah, that's, that's all I need. Okay, so theoretically, that is it. By default, I should only be able to hit one. Um, and let's do... Just do a print string. Uh, single attack. Leave. So no more like multi hits uh, by default. So if I do this single attack, and if I give myself leave, leave. Okay, let's test that uh, in a dungeon. I think when it uh, starts to load, I think I think my computer is literally a little chucks because I noticed my camera gets a little bit uh, slower frame rate. So come in here. I want to get you guys bunched up. Also, this doesn't trigger, right? Yeah. So this doesn't hit anything automatically. Have played Raymond? I, I have. I played one of them, not like fully. I don't remember why I played Raymond. Oh, you know what? I think I the last time I played was it P, was it for PC? I either I got Raymond for free and I played on PC or PS2 it's age. Yeah, it's uh there's level streaming. Yep. So I load um the levels around me based on a radius so that way I can visually see them but anything uh, beyond a certain radius is unloaded and it's based on where I am so seems like it's working it's all single attack uh, right here. what I want to do is just test this with uh, oh you jerk uh multiple enemies here yeah so that seems like it's only hitting one fantastic so if i give myself cleave
Yeah. Um, let's just try. I died there surprisingly fast. Okay, yeah, but, but I am cleaving. Okay, it was not that I was hitting myself. It was just, I just happened to be surrounded and somehow managed to kill myself pretty quickly. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so that works now. Whole cleave system, done and dusted. Uh, mark that off. Get an obsession with Rayman for a while. I mean, it's a good game. I don't. Remember, I remember playing it distinctly. Um, I don't remember where or why. Hold on, is it? I mean, do I have it on Steam? Let's find out. Mm. No. No, I don't. So I guess I played it somewhere else. I don't remember where. And Sonic, are you too? Oh man, I rem I used to have a, a Sega Dreamcast. I tell you, still have a second Dreamcast at my parents' place. Show us the your, my lost art playtime. Sure. Here's my lost art playtime. One thousand six hundred hours. <laughs> I don't leave it open. I don't, I, I close games when I don't play them. <laughs> yeah. You have 3.7K, it feels bad. Yeah, so it's like Path of Exile doesn't have nearly as much, but that's because I used to play um, during closed beta, they didn't have Steam. And that's where I put in, like I, for six months, I played like 12 hours a day, 16 hours a day for like a good six months period, like during closed beta. So like, that's where my true play time was. Uh, but I still have like a good amount. Yeah. If I go, uh, that sells at only 18.7 hours, but, uh, Binding of Isaac, there's a 476. You know, it's a good amount, but yeah, uh, MMOs. Uh, we have an Arcage. Uh, oh, Arcage had their had their own um, launcher. That's right. Yeah. And right now, here's the three games I have on my machine: <laughs> Holocure, Monster Hunter World, and Pal World, which I haven't played in a while. And I, and I got, I started playing it again and I was like, okay. <laughs> ads are here. Oh, Pausing ads for ads. Ads time. But cleave is done and dusted. So we need to do uh, crit damage. And that's the last one. The longest you played a game for is um, Resident Evil 4 start to finish for 16 hours straight. Yeah, I played PoE probably when, during like closed beta days. I played PoE probably like 16 hours straight, like every day for a long time. I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it during that time. I mean, yeah, 1600 is quite a bit. Yeah, for... Um, 
for Arcage, um, right? The thing that made me quit was the, um, what's it called? That second raid fight. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, Minecraft was where I have like the most playtime probably of everything. <laughs> just by a, by an astronaut uh, probably more than more than any mmo minecraft is where the most played <laughs> equip like modern warfare 3 too many cheaters any bots oh yeah that sucks yeah i played um uh, i mean i had a youtube channel for a good year or something year to two during covid where i played uh minecraft for it uh yeah yeah i have a youtube I have, an, I have another youtube channel where i played minecraft uh but what i did was i i do things a little differently in minecraft than than most people i mean i can pull it up here hold on i'm gonna show you guys hold on hold on because Because uh, saying it is one thing, showing is another. So this is my old YouTube channel, which, by the way, this channel that I've had for far fewer time is uh, about to overtake this. And this, this used to be my main channel. <laughs> but what I want to show this is uh, this is my um, uh, this is my build. Uh, so this is a um this is literally a uh a full world height copper dragon built before copper um was uh, this is sur uh, survival by the way this was built before uh copper was easily obtainable this is like during like the very release so yeah i built a full like <laughs> dragon with full terraforming <laughs> um in survival that was my last thing that i did um, uh, uh, in a, in a survival server. Um, and then, um, and then I also, uh, uh, where's my guardian farm? Um, I built the most powerful guardian farm in the world. Um, oh yeah. This is one. The fastest single player guardian farm is done. So <laughs> if you don't care Minecraft, this is not gonna matter. But the main thing I wanna show is, uh, where is it? Uh, oh yeah, so here, I um, I was removing um, the uh, obsidian with uh, update suppression around portal blocks. And uh, so you see here, and I just, right, normally when you break, break this, the portal uh, shatters. But nope, uh, wasn't like that. So I I I cleared it out. Um, so these oh yeah, and here here's the geyser. My computer could not keep up. It had three million drops per hour. <laughs> oh yeah, this is my perimeter. So yeah, um, that's what I say when uh, when I said um, yeah I I played Minecraft a little differently at the time. <laughs> This was the storage system to keep up with it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Quick detour. Just felt like sharing. So yeah, when, when I say I play Minecraft, I played it a little differently. I don't, if, for those of you who play Minecraft might know th or have heard of the uh, server SciCraft. Yeah, that, that's where it, I was. Uh, I wasn't part of that, but I was friends with uh, a, a bunch of them. Or a good number of them. You looking forward to City Skylands lore next? Might, might. Hold on. Uh, let's, uh, let's go back to my old channel. Go to videos. Uh, most popular. City Skylands, City Skylands, City Skylands, City Skylands, City Skylands. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh... Here. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, 
Let's do crit damage. <laughs> so let's go to my uh, take damage calculation. Hurt these guys doesn't know anything about it though. About what? You love building farms and stack resources for bases you'd never build. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but pretty much. Uh, so here, yeah. So this is my crit. So if I crit, I just do times two. But I want to uh, have this be a variable. So let me go to my weapon base. And right, we have critical chance, but we don't have critical damage. So I'm gonna just duplicate this and do critical uh, damage. Um, and critical damage will be just 1.5 by default, instead of two. Um, and you know what? I will have, mm, no crit chance by default. A crit damage will be one point five. Ah, uh, no worries, Jimberly. Get some night. Get some rest. Have a good night. When you joined the join uh, the Discord, you saw Crosian, and we wanted to know it was a Turk game. No. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> no, that's uh just a an online alias I, I was using, and I was like, I. And that's why my Twitch channel, if you go to it, um, or is Crojan. Because that's just my online alias. It was weird calling myself procedural minds in the Discord, like by default. I do it like in my actual Discord, right? But my handle is Crojan because it's like, well, how do you address? I, I had this problem with another in another Discord I'm part of. Like, so if someone wants to talk to me, do they call me minds? That just sounds weird, right? It's procedural minds is like all of us together. It's not me specifically. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I'll I'll have my there's the group name and then there's the me name. <laughs> That's what he called me, uh, Sir Tall at the time, or Sir all the time. Because it doesn't make sense to say mines. Is that it? I get it. Uh, get weapon info. Get uh, crit damage. Okay, and we need to get the combined. Um, uh, combined. Get a uh, combined uh, crit damage. We'll do a uh, critical damage increase. This is going to be a float. Um, how much more are we going to want to increase the crit damage by? How much more are we going to want to increase the crit damage by? Hmm. It would feel weird also using my alias. Does anyone know if it was public or something personal to me? So with Sir. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, no, like that's not a name or anything. That's like. Uh, that's a. Uh, yeah. An online alias I made for myself. Using a uh, online name generation with a slight tweak with the uh, 
I got it because at the time I was uh, watching Kriparian playing Diablo 3 and another uh, streamer was Kangen, I think. And there's a few other uh, streamers with uh, like the starting with a K. I just really like those names. It sound all, they sound great. And I, so I went uh, on a, like a generator that started with a K. And then one of them was like something similar to what I had. And then I swapped like a, a letter or two. And I was like, okay, no one's using it. Let's go with that. <laughs> That's it. It's no, there's no like big secret or anything um, of like the name. Yeah. That's it. Nickname of a nickname. Yeah, there you go. Uh, here sounds really cool. Well, thank you. Okay, let's do a flat 50% more damage for damage. So instead of doing 150%, it'll go 200%. So I'll do add, full damage increase. The problem with my my uh, name, which I didn't think about at the time, was pronunciation. Because, right? Because I, I I write it like this. So a lot of people pronounce it cross gin, right? But this is combined into je, but that's not a sound in English. It, it is like if you go uh, jin, right? That's the sound, <laughs> right? That je, the, that's the sound. But I wrote it with a zj, and so because I was like more of a into that and so i wasn't thinking about how is it uh like said out loud i really should have been at the time because <laughs> at the time i wasn't doing streaming or youtube or anything um so yeah Uh, I'm going to multiply this by 100, so we get a percentage number. Crit uh, damage percent. Today has been a, a very uh, lore-heavy stream, I guess. <laughs> so I hope you guys like this stuff. Uh, critical damage amount. Um, no, this is critical chance. Oops. Uh, crit damage. Crit damage. That goes in there. And then this goes in there. Come. Oh, whoa, no, 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 no. I can't multiply it by that. Uh, uh, this is, uh, <laughs> Oops. I'll use the, I'll, I'll have a, a second return for percent, but the first one is, uh, crit, uh, damage, uh, there. Uh, this is the one we're doing for the math. This is the one we're going to be using for the print, uh, the stat. <laughs> that that almost was very bad. <laughs> it was almost very bad. <laughs> Multiplier, because otherwise we would dam only want our damage by one hundred, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> just worry, distract. Oh, you're fine. Don't worry about distracting me. It's a stream. If I want to not be distracted and just be full focus. I wouldn't be streaming. <laughs> I mean, simple as that. 
Well, and you folks on that uh, today too, really cool. Distract. Oh no, I'm being distracted. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> Quick, panic. Uh, okay, we need to get more display stats. So let's, let's add the display stats. Uh, uh, crit damage. Um, come. And I can go copy this in here. Now the crit chance uh I need to because it's a decimal point. Oh no, it's not. Is it? No, it's not. It's a, it's already a, a percentage. Okay. You feel better now too? Which, oh, that's good. Why have you been holding your breath? <laughs> Look at the kitty. It's a very nice little kitty. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very nice kitty. Good job. <laughs> good job making kitty. <laughs> um, we need. Uh, it's the stats. So we need a um, crit damage one. Okay, two crit damage. Okay, and so what I need to do now is uh, wait it's here. Wait, where did I set the values for this? Uh, oh, it's, um, I'm not doing it here. I really should be doing it here. I guess I'm doing it here. Yeah, update display stats. I should move this. Hold on, can I just move this to the stats one? Um, oh no, because it's... Yeah, I can. Yeah, why, why am I not doing it here? Um... Yeah, we'll just do this. This is a lot better. Uh, damage. Uh, this is speed. Stun chance. I don't know why I was doing it the other way, but you know what? That's why I say I'll just keep improving. Crit chance. And this is not work. Yeah. Crit damage goes in there. Um, what I need to do is also modify this to have like be, be like a percent um as an option so let's go into this thing and 
I'm gonna do a um uh, is that a pent? Uh format text. Um Now, how do you It's not concat, it's not append. How do you just add, add attach extra things to a text? Uh I could go to string and then append, but that seems like a backwards thing. Yeah, I thought that, but if I search... Is it join? Yes, it's not join, right? If I search... Uh... Yeah, I can only append on a string. It's really weird. Text... Um... I can do two text. Is that really not? Yeah, I can only append. And text, yeah. Okay, fine. Two string. Okay. Append. Uh, percent. And then here we'll do a select. Um, and it's going to be based on a pool that says a uh, percent. So if it's true, it is going to just do this. Otherwise, it'll do. I don't know why I can't concat, concaternate or whatever it's actually pronounced as, uh, or append, but whatever. Um, that should be fine. And now here, uh, for the crit chance, I can just say this is a percent, and then uh, the crit... Oh, not you. You. For the crit damage, I can say percent, and for the crit chance, I can say percent. Um, and that should give those the percent values. And then here... Um... Get display stats. Uh, I believe display stats. Oh, and this one I can now change to uh, delete all this. Update display stats. There we go. That's all I need here. Hey, Necto, uh, Sierra Tech. You do format. Yeah, that's what I thought, but. I mean, yeah, I, I guess like I can just do. I can just do that. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, oh, oops, 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 wrong place to put that, plug that in. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I could do that. I brought this out originally and I didn't do it for some reason. But yeah, that does get the same result. You're right, you're right.
There you go. You're out good guts. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Have a good night. Get some rest. Get some sleep. Uh, yep, yep, yep. All looks good. So, I just need to also modify the pause menu. Yep, here. And kill all of this. Update display stats. There we go. Hello, Mr. Presgetti. I hope you only show up to say <laughs> goodbye to Guts and, and some people at the end. Otherwise, lurk. <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> so welcome. Welcome. You came out of hiding. <laughs> now if we come here, my... Oh! Crit dam... That's correct. Why is my crit damage at 200%? Oh, wait. Did I not... Did I set it up wrong? Oh, yeah, I'm just literally combined. I'm not even checking if I need to combine it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know why I grabbed everything. Uh, crit chance or critical damage. Did I not make the ability yet? Oh my god, I didn't even make the ability yet. Crit, uh, damage. Critical damage up. Is that how I did crit chance? Yeah, critical chance up. 50%, uh, additional critical damage. Seems pretty straightforward. <laughs> no warning, Mr. Brisgetti. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm 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 like you. I, I tend to lurk in most streams. So yeah. Lurk away. You're very much welcome to it. So we need a uh, character. Player ability. Uh crit damage. damage and let's go ahead and make uh we have a lot of c abilities <laughs> it's really today um uh, not like it matters I'm just realizing that a lot of them start with c somehow There we go. So now that explains why I forgot to do it here because I never even made the darn thing. Um, critical damage. Um, Stealer. If it's true, do that. Um, if it's false, um, original crit damage and uh, that hundred there. Ads are here. Oh. Pausing for ads. Ad time. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much set up with this. Okay.
Looking good, looking good. So, uh, this should be done. Critical damage, 100%. Uh, why does that still say 150%? Oh, oh, right, because I didn't plug in the darn thing. Yeah, I, I know, I, I literally, yeah. This is important. <laughs> I need to plug that in. Uh, oh, also, uh, Get <laughs> abilities. Yeah, this almost was the same problem as I had before. Uh, there you go. Uh, also here. Yeah. I need to make sure I'm getting all this information from the damage dealer, not from uh. Not from the one that got hit, because that'd be bad. There you go. Yeah, that's all. That's all. That should be good. Uh, so yeah, the percent we're getting. Oh wait. Uh, also here. Is getting my own info. So now, 100%. This is 0%, which is great. Uh, oh, we need to make stun chance also a percent. Um, we'll do that in a moment. Um, let's do stun chance up and critical damage up. Um, and let's do a uh, critical strike. Our critical chance. Um, just make sure they're all working. Yep. Crit chance 10. Critical damage 200. Stun chance. Yep. 15. Uh, we need to just make this a percent. Mm -hmm. Yep. But otherwise, it seems like everything is working, which is fantastic. Um, that's so we need to just set. Uh, not the knockback amount. Stun chance. Good percent. There we go. Now it's all correct. The knockback amount. I need to figure out what to do with it. Right? The problem with the knockback amount. Right, is I have 20 a knock, but this is like an unreal units, right? This is 20 unreal units. So if I was to give myself a knockback up, right? Um, right, I now have 350 additional knockback. So I don't know what to do about like the amount of knockback because it can be a percent. It has to be a value. Is it okay to have it just as a flat value? It is a linear value. So more is better. So for now, I'm gonna think I'm gonna keep it as a value. Uh, see, I might move. I might have this one just be all percentages and this one be all non percentages. I might move knock back here. We'll see. Speed is going to be uh, one. I could have speed also be a percentage. 100% speed as the default. Let's do that. I'm going to make speed a percentage as well. Yeah. 
I think that'd be better. So for the max speed, I'm dividing by 600. Instead of 600, I'm going to divide by... That's fine. Divide by 600 and then... Because it's going to be our speed. Uh, divide by 600. I'm going to have it just be as a separate thing, just then multiply it by uh, 100. I could put it all in that divide, but this will just make it like more obvious uh, that this is the speed. Uh, I can also store this and make sure that it's, it's tied to my info. So let's do that, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, uh You can do it here. Get max walk speed. At default walk speed. And then I just use that here. So if I increase or decrease it, it should uh, I don't know, update. Get yourself a why, why, why would I need that? There's just ad blockers. What do you mean? <laughs> why do you need a whole network set up for that? There's just ad blockers out there. And the max speed is going to be a percent now. So if we check it out. So now max speed 100%. And if I give myself... Uh speed boost it should say you're 20 percent yeah it does you know i mean why else would you get it but i mean i guess if you want to do it for fun you can but then you just do it for fun that's something you want to do for money, yeah. Awesome, so speed is now a percentage. Uh, this can be a flat number. Um, do you want to move these around? Uh, let's go to the... Oh, did I close it? I want to go here and let's move this here. Speed. Uh, damage knockback. Let's do that. Critical chance, critical damage, stun chance. There's no stun damage. That seems like it's better. Also, I love. Hmm. Uh, I like the. Why? Oh, here. Oh, it's grabbing the entire thing, not this. I have to click first and then I can drag. Yeah, I love the fact that we can do this. <laughs> just make sure to click first and then just drag it. That's really nice. Um, and now we're good. Okay. Looking good. I like it. So that means we are... Uh, where's my thing here we are done with crit damage so we've now done everything that doesn't need an effect so if i mark it off on my side as well actual sheet so everything else kind of needs effects right flaming attack ignite enemies i need an effect for that freeze enemies need an effect for that 
damage around the player needs some kind of a, like an aura effect. Um, now all of them need complex effects, but they need some kind of effects for it. Explosive attacks needs an explosion, piercing shots. Um, doesn't need an effect, but I need a projectile. <laughs> I don't have projectile, so that's why it's technically not doing it right now. Uh, knockback impact point. I want a like a poof, like some kind of uh, effect on that. Um, spectral walls. Yep, same thing. Uh, oh, one goes through enemies. One goes through walls. Um, you know, for the projectiles that can go through walls or through enemies, I'll probably do the same um, outline effect for um going through enemies so they, if it ha like i have um do i still have the setup yeah so i have this glow right around me when i can go through enemies and uh basically i'll just put that on the projectile and it'll be the same for both and then you'll know then you can go through enemies and then we'll need us something different an actual effect then uh for the other one uh can cause curse reducing enemy power again um it's probably going to be in range, so I'll need some kind of effect for that. But you get the point. All of these kind of need some kind of effect or something else to do. So I think tomorrow, what I want to start doing is I want to make a UI bar. Like, so when we play, I wanted to have like a bar um, somewhere here. Maybe the top left corner, we move this health. Um, where it shows all of the... Um, the buffs that are have a timer on them. So, for example, right when um, when you have the temporary invulnerability, or when you have the face shift, or you have whatever it is, I wanted to have a uh, an icon that shows you how long you have left on that before it activates again, or whether or not it's activated. So that's what we'll be doing tomorrow, most likely. So yeah. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I think that's going to be a wrap for today. I think we got a good amount done. I'm pretty happy with today. Uh, we got through the list. How many do we have? Uh, I'm not here. I don't want to look at you. I want to look at you. So we are up to 25 abilities already. That's pretty good. 25 unique things. One thing I need to figure out, though, is... I want to add some kind of projectile system to melee where or it's either that or you need to figure out like alternatives to this the air blade uh or ways of like having multiple versions or something because this air blade right is real good especially when you have but i have the cone attack right so i can give myself greater um the, the greater projectiles and all that but if it only works with um with the air blade then it's kind of like well why would you like if you get one you'll get them all versus vice versa so we need a, a some kind of projectile system that can work with the greater and lesser projectiles that isn't just air blade and i need to figure out what can will work while maintaining a melee weapon I'm still thinking of that. Uh, one idea I had, just throwing out there, is uh, here counterattack when hit, spawn a projectile that homes onto the enemy. But uh, like that's going to be good. But that's not a cone attack, and I have right, and we have the spread also, bigger and smaller spread. So maybe what I'll do is. Uh, Put some uh, power-ups only appear when you have certain weapons later on. And it just... The melee attack won't have a spread option come up at all. I don't know. They're just things that are going through my head. Just so you guys know. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, till tomorrow. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.